People who live in a Point Loma neighborhood are worried about reckless drivers zipping through a crosswalk and stop sign causing crashes and close calls. A man who lives there says he's called the city for help to no avail. So he reached out to us. CBS 8's Abby Alford is working for you and checks in with the city on the steps it says it will take to make this crossing safer. There's a stop sign and a crosswalk, yet neighbors say that there's drivers speeding through the stop sign all the time, just like you saw. They say that there's near crashes and they've begged the city for safer options. We're working for you to find out how they're answering those calls. If there we go. Drivers zipping through a post and stop sign during the day. This is constant all day long. The frustration grows into the night. This woman's neighbor emailed CBS 8 his concerns about reckless cars on Nimitz Boulevard heading east onto West Point Loma Boulevard. And when these people don't stop, like this gentleman did not do just now, they can't see people turning off of that street. And so there's constantly almost accidents. Neighbors in Point Loma say that they've witnessed crashes. They hear screeching and braking. Nice. And they've had too many close calls walking their pups across the street to Dusty Roads Dog Park. It's frightening trying to cross the street with my dog. Neighbors say they've filed get it done reports with the city and emailed the traffic department who told them they've requested police enforcement. Uh, some kind of flashing lights to say that you have to make a complete stop here or just get rid of the ramp completely. We emailed the city to find out what's being done to make this a safer on ramp. A spokesperson for the city responded to our email first pointing out what has already been done. One, multiple stop ahead signs on the approach to the stop sign at the crosswalk. We saw those signs. Two, a clearly visible stop sign on the left side of the approach. We saw that as well. And finally, a clearly marked yellow continental crosswalk and limit line. We see that too. They add by the end of this year, we will install a stop sign on the right hand side as well. But if it's pitch black at night, neighbors say they can barely see anything or anyone. The city says streetlights are awaiting funding for this location. Frustrated neighbors say until something's done, they'll have to police the ramp themselves. Stop! As this story develops, we'll continue to work for you each step of the way on what the city does to make this on-ramp safer. Working for you, I'm Abby Alford, CBS 8. And don't forget here at CBS 8, we're working for you. If there is a story you'd like us to look into, please email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.